Hey guys, Rick and Steve here. It's Steve. Today we're going to do the vaunted Glacier safety slug in 223. Uh, Rick and I have some pretty wild predictions about this, flying at this velocity, what all it's going to do. We'll see. It's still a small, relatively small caliber diameter bullet with uh, probably as many or fewer uh, actual pellets than some of the handgun rounds, but the velocity here is just going to be amazing. By the way, you guys, click like if you like these videos. We, we uh, you know, these are expensive to make and uh, we need all the help we can get. Uh, so here's, here's the uh, gelatin ordinance picture on the back of the box. And here's the front. Uh, velocity is, so they say, 3,375 feet per second. Energy, 1,100 foot-pounds. 45 grain. Prediction. <laughs> Hello YouTube, this is Rick and Steve again. Today we are firing blue-tipped Glacier Safety Slugs in 223 variety. We were discussing this beforehand and we were thinking that uh, we would probably get the most limited penetration with any round that we've seen so far using this due to the velocity and the lightweight. And we have not been disappointed. Looks like the glazer performed superbly in the first piece of wallboard breaking apart, sending shot into the third piece of wallboard. We did have a lot of exit as you can see. The lower hole that has the large cavity is actually where two rounds went through side by side. And then as we look at wallboard number five, which would represent a third interior wall, all you see is some shot. There were some pieces of jacket or something that penetrated all the way through the sixth board and caused our milk jug to leak. So yeah, we figure a, at this range. That was just on one shot though. Third shot didn't. Yeah, third shot didn't make it through at all. So we're fit. Four layers denim, pork ribs, bone in, lost in the butt. Looks like uh, the bullet impacted one of these pork ribs, dead center but on the top, which caused the bullet to uh, fragment along with the rib. It entered this uh, large piece of uh, pork shoulder here, and it looks like uh, the force of the meat, or the, the density of the meat, caused the bullet to explode out the top of the meat. And as you look at the pork shoulder bone here, a piece of the jacket, it looks like, went through, clipped the bone, and embedded itself in the first section of drywall. There's no penetration through the drywall. You saw that, but that was nasty. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Size of my fist. That's right, you called it. That's crazy, dude. Alright, are you ready to yes. call it? And did it go through anyway? No, no it went on the next one. Are you sure? You can flip her over and we'll see. Done? Yep. Here, you want to try and call it and we'll see if it does or not. Sure. Alright, here it comes. Come here. Okay, YouTube, this is the Glacier Safety Slug in 223. 
through two layers of wallboard and as you can see we had penetration into our innocent bystander in a different room maximum penetration is in the neighborhood of three and a half inches the majority of the uh, shot is spent in about the first inch to inch and a quarter so this is number 11 shot I believe in a blue tip so potentially this would be a non-lethal although nasty wound 